Hello, hello everyone. I'm Handy B with Handy B Creation and today what you see here is an old faded t-shirt. This happens to be a MTV shirt but we're not doing any promo stuff here. It's no, it's just faded out and so I thought it would be fun to do a tutorial. Maybe you guys have some old shirts that you, you know, you don't wear anymore because they're faded or maybe they're just, you know, out of date or whatever. But so this idea came to mind. You know, I, I really like 100% cotton and most everything that I purchase is 100% cotton. And so, and, and it seems like the quality of cotton is where it's not as nice as it used to be. So, and I just thought it would be fun to try to fix this shirt. Let's see, Let's how, see we how we can fix, fix this shirt. shirt. That's the object of this tutorial today. Yeah. Hey. Okay, here we go. We got two, we got basically three color, four colors here. We have black, gray, yellow, and red. I want to start with this MTV logo. I'm going to tighten it up here. So I've got the embroiderer ring on. That's where I want to start since that is going to be the most tedious of the whole revamp, as you could say. So what we're going to use is Copic markers. I'm going to pick out colors that match this MTV logo. Basically, we're just going to drop color pigment right back in. And I choose Copics because they absorb, they don't really spread. And they dry, once it's laid down, it dries really quickly. Okay, um... I have a different one now because I like, I think I like the lighter yellow. So I'm just going to go over this over here with a little bit. We're going to go over the black later. Okay, now this is probably more red, but I'm going to use this pink. It's just choose colors that you want to use. I mean, you don't even have to use the same colors if you want to change it. It's just, um, it's just a demonstration to show you what you guys can do at home. If you have t-shirts that are faded because maybe they faded too soon. The colors t tend to fade pretty fast in some cases. Whoop. Oh, no. That's not a happy accident. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that. that with Copics you don't get any bleeding okay so what I did was I went over the mark with yellow and that kind of that worked a little bit 
to hide that mistake that we made. You guys get the idea. This is just the idea. I'm just giving you ideas. That's my experimentation. This is what I experiment. Do experiments. And then if it works, it makes it onto my channel. Alright, that's what this channel is all about. It's about using your imagination, your creativity, and experimenting. That's how inventions are made. That's how things get done. Alright? So, these little round spots are gray, a grayish color, and I do not have a Copic marker in the color of gray. So, I'm going to skip that. We're just going to move right on to black. As you can see, it's like, it's not really a solid color. They wanted to give you the illusion that it was a block. So that's why it's kind of, you know, if you can see, there's a little bit of white in there or to give it the illusion that it's not all solid. Now this one right here is solid. And this is solid. I'm just going to move right over, right on over to this R, which is solid. And I just want to show you, watch, see, it's not going to smear. That's why I decided to use Copics because I knew it wasn't going to smear. I do not know how it's going to turn out when I wash it, though. So that's going to be the next test. The first step is just what I'm doing right here. And then the second test is going to be what's it going to look like after I wash it. Maybe it'll just be a big mess of color. That's the whole... That's going to be part of this experiment as well. So when I'm done, I'm going to wash it. And see it, how it holds up. If it works, the other idea is what's stopping you from taking a plain shirt and creating your own design right onto the shirt. Draw it on and get, you know, just get on with it.
Oh, they look so far. I went over this part over I did the music television off camera just because I needed to be I'm holding the camera at the same time and I needed to not hold the camera to do that part so probably have to do more details. I just want to show you that it can be done and how it's done. And honestly,
to get the most out of the color, you want to do a, um, you want to go in both directions. So, I tried to make a gray spot right there and I screwed it up. I think what I'm going to do is try to block that out with some alcohol and see if it'll come out. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave it and 
you know, this is just an example. It's not like I'm going to wear the shirt. So, again, this was just something that I thought of, and I thought I'd share it with you guys so that you could do the same thing with your shirts. And who's to say? I mean, why not just create your own design and get to drawing on your shirts? The real, the real so there you have it guys this pretty much wraps it up so i hope this was helpful and i hope you got something out of it hope you got a little few ideas maybe uh maybe you're gonna go design your own t-shirts now or dig out all your old faded shirts whatever the case may be i look forward to seeing you in the next video don't forget to hit the bell on the way out have a creepy